What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here. My name's Luke, and in this video we're going to be farming for a Cherami Sniper here at Overpower Level 8 on my Farming Zero. The reason why I want to farm for this rifle today is because in the very near future we're going to be farming for a Height of Terramorphous. And when we're farming Terramorphous I'm going to be using a more persistent slagging grenade than the Slag O negative. Maybe this crossfire or maybe another crossfire that we farm that has a zero fuse time. Either way, we're going to be using a crossfire, and the crossfire is a much more persistent and consistent slagger than the O-negative is. And that's very, very effective against Terramorphous, or very, very necessary against Terramorphous, because Terramorphous gets rid of slag very frequently and very quickly. And so when you have a grenade that lasts a little bit longer and provides a lot more slagging opportunities, that's definitely going to help out against Terramorphous. Regardless, that does get away from my normal method of healing on Sniper Zero, which is a transfusion grenade. And so in order to get our health back, get back above health gate, should we get hit by Terramorphous, I want this Moxie Sniper, which is translated to Dear Friend from French. And I should probably get a mod that gets rid of the French name there because I have trouble pronouncing it. Regardless, we're going to farm this Dear Friend or Sheer Ami rifle. Um, and we're going to do that, obviously, from the Hyperion Slaughter which is the quest that rewards the rifle. That's why we're out here in the Iridium Blight, because we're going to go over to the Orchasm and find, hopefully, um, Innuendo Bot. And speaking of things that are hopeful finds, hopefully we get a big thumper real quick. But we're going to find Innuendo Bot, get the quest, and uh, then we're going... Oh, he blew up my car. What a dick. Um, then we're going to complete the quest, put the game save file into read-only mode, and farm for a fire version of the Cherami um, with a Malawan grip and a you know Banbury or Barking prefix that's going to be fire rate or base damage. I'm not sure which one I want. I would take either. Definitely want the Malawan grip though so either way I think Donkey Mong did drop the big thumper for us which is awesome because we can just add that to things we farmed in this video. So now this is a dual farming video. We farmed for a big thumper, and we're going to farm for a sheer me rifle, which is dope. I'm going to get rid of this badass rack here just because he irritates me. Cool. Now the rest of them aren't as irritating. So this here has high roid damage. It has a super long recharge delay, which is kind of the unique effect about it there. It is an item from the pre-sequel. The community patch adds it as an optional replacement for the Pot of Gold Shield. I enabled that. You can see there that it's got a big roid damage, so that's dope. We kind of don't really need to farm a Hide of Terramorphous as badly now that we have this. But um, we're still going to farm for the Hide of Terramorphous because I want it so badly. My car got blown up, so I'm going to go this way. Might have to kill one of these guys for a follow-through bonus. Perfect. Excellent. They did miss an opportunity to put a catch a ride station up here by the Hyperion Slaughter. I think that that was a mistake not to have one, but it's not too big a deal. We can just run up here. It's more annoying when you finish this quest and you're running back to, you know, the rest of the game that it's a more pressing issue. I remember that in the past. Regardless, we're going to go in here to the Orchasm, find Innuendo Bot, accept the quest. We can see that down here it does have a um blue sniper and that's going to be the one that we're looking for i'm gonna buy ammo but before i buy ammo i'm gonna blow up some of these barrels i re don't remember everything about this quest i used to play it pretty frequently so there may be parts that i remember but um what i do remember right away is that there are barrels absolutely everywhere in this quest or in this arena and so if you don't blow them up beforehand you'll probably have a bad time so that's what I'm trying to do real quick is just blow up some of these barrels. I don't know exactly where they all are, but I do know that some of them in particular are right where I like to stand or end up standing during this quest. And so because of that, I want to blow those ones up. Cool beans. It looks like there's another one back there. Slag one there. That's good. Sometimes the slag ones are actually beneficial, but I'll blow them up as well just because I don't want to be the one who accidentally gets slagged. Cool. All right, so that's most of the barrels blown up, I think. It's at least enough. Now we can go buy ammo. We can probably get rid of this fire rifle as well for the time being. 
Um, we'll switch on over to a corrosive relic. Perfect. So now we've got the quest. We're about to stock up on ammo, and then we're going to get started here. This quest should be a lot easier with the community patch applied because obviously critical ascension lasts a lot longer and is easier to maintain, and that should make the latter rounds of this a little bit easier than they would be otherwise because we'll have more critical ascension. I don't remember all of the spawns in this map, but what I do remember is that there are a couple sections that involve a ton of rocket loaders, and so obviously that can be a very difficult part, and I think there are a couple sections where they give you like multiple, multiple super badass surveyors, and so that, very similar to Digistruct Peak, can be very difficult as well. All right, so we got a rocket loader right away. Um, he eats my deception because he is very, very dangerous. Go ahead and get rid of uh, this exploder's arms real quick. Oh, I really wanted to kill that guy before he got into that bubble. That was interesting. Regardless, I got the ion loader killed, so it could be worse. <laughs> we'll let that exploder blow up just out of our range. Get rid of that guy as well. Cool. Okay, so that guy got into the ion loader's uh, radius. We'll use this time to blow up some surveyors. This should be dropping any time now, and then I'll get a couple critical hits. Perfect. Would like to blow up the ion loader. Cool. The gun loader is not too big of an issue. I will definitely take this opportunity to kill a shield surveyor. All right. Looks like there is an optional objective to get kills with critical hits. It would be kind of embarrassing to play through this as Sniper Zero and not complete that optional objective, but I think it would also be difficult to play through as Sniper Zero and somehow not complete that optional objective. So we'll see what happens there. If really all I left alive is, uh, okay, I was going to say, if all I left alive is, um, <laughs> is surveyors, that's bad news, but we got a couple other things alive too, so that's good. Try to blow up these surveyors here at range. Cool. So I think that's most of the surveyors. And that's good. We can go ahead and get a couple critical hits on this guy before starting the next wave, I would imagine. So very I live cool. So that did say we're starting the next wave here. Looks like the sirens are telling me it's going to be coming from this area, so we'll get ready to kill these dudes. I hear at least one dude who has an elemental weapon. Luckily it was slag and not a dot. Um, oh god. So, there's a dude over there who has a uh, rocket launcher. Cool, we'll get rid of the rocket launcher one, and then we'll deal with some of these other ones. Oh god, there's another one with a rocket launcher, I think. Oh god, so I'm dead. Thank goodness for these uh, damage over time rocket launcher dudes. That is an especially fun mechanic is being one hit by those guys whatever um, there are probably some more rocket guys over here now cool we'll get ready to kill these guys now um, not all rocket loaders are created equally um, some of them have much more dangerous rockets than others like it seemed like one of those guys had a slag rifle there, which is not near as dangerous as this guy's, or I said rifle, had a slag rocket launcher, which is not near as dangerous as a shock rocket launcher, for example. If I could get rid of this guy's corrosive launcher, that would be really nice. Cool. Working on that uh, optional objective there. Hopefully these guys drop some ammo because I definitely wasted quite a bit of it. Cool. So, if I remember correctly, this section is basically all exploders and power loaders, which is a good thing because we were low on ammo and these guys should get us our ammo back fairly easily. At the very least, they're not hard to kill, so 
Um, that's good. Alright, running over some of the kills here to get a little bit of the ammo back. Sounds like some other enemies have come in. Some badass loaders, if I had to guess, based on that firing noise. So we'll go ahead and get them slagged. Cool. Get this big feller slagged as well. Alright. See if any of these guys drop some ammo for us because I am low. Okay. So there may be um, more dudes with crazy rocket launchers over here, so I want to look for him. Perfect. I found him. Doesn't mean he was the only one, though, so have to be a little bit careful. Oh, wow. There is a uh, constructor that spawned. We'll go ahead and kill him. Cool. Get rid of that sniper fella. Sometimes those guys have elemental snipers and obviously elemental snipers have a super high chance to cause their elemental effect so we want to watch out for them like honestly sometimes you can get one shot by a dude with a shock sniper or something right because it immediately depletes your shield puts you at below health gate and then the damage over time finishes you off cool so there's another one dead um, that guy's really far away we'll deal with him in a minute because this guy's closer Unfortunately, he's got the good AI where he runs away, which makes sense. He's a sneaky fella, right? He's got the, uh, you know, sneaky tech here. Cool. We still know that there's this one guy way back here. Looks like his backpack kind of blocks his head, too. No, we can hit it. Perfect. All right, so apparently we're halfway there now. That's always a good thing. We'll see what's spawning next. I don't hear anything. Oh, it's the jet loaders now. Okay, so with that in mind, we want to kill them before they take off, if we can. We have a ton of critical ascension at this point, so um, definitely possible. Cool. Whoa, got some weird boar going on there. These guys sound like exploders in a way, um, so it can be a little bit disorienting. Get a critical hit off of that guy and get it back alive here. Cool. Nice. We're killing a bunch of these uh, badass shield surveyors and stuff um, while they're kind of stalled or stuck on things, which is good because... Otherwise, they can be really annoying. Nice. Now, if this jet loader will load, we'll kill him. All right. I think we're through the hardest parts of this now. Obviously, I've gone into fight for my life twice, which sucks. But one of those times was pretty cheap against that jet loader there. I probably shouldn't have died like I did. But oh well. Pick up that sniper there because it gives us a ton of sniper ammo, which is always a good thing. I don't think any of those guys happen to be the ones that spawn with a uh, with a rocket launcher, which is a good thing for us. Not a good thing for us is that it took me so long to get a critical hit there. Oh well. With the community patch, I didn't get punished as, for it as badly as I could have. Okay, so that is the guy with the rocket launcher there, so we'll need to kill him. I hope I got him. No, I didn't. I think that's him that dead now, though. Cool. Excellent. So that's all of those dudes. It's a one, one front war again with some dudes spawning over here. At least we're not caught in a crossfire. Excellent. That was dumb. I slagged myself, probably. Okay. So it looks like there are some dudes spawning over here now, including an ion loader. Hot loader and exploder. They're both dead, though. Ouch. 
Yeah, at this amount of critical ascension, these enemies aren't really lasting too long. They're getting messed up. That's a good thing, I guess. Got rid of the ion loader. Angelic Guard has been dispatched. There's an RPG loader here. He's my first priority. Now that his arm's off, he's not quite quite as big a deal. Ah, gotta love the antagonist blocking multiple shots in succession. There's gotta be a mod that fixes that. That's gotta be like the mod I'm most interested in at the moment. Is a mod that makes it so that the antagonist doesn't do stupid stuff. Whoa. Okay. So, I do remember this section here being difficult because of all of these turrets that spawn. Alright, so we'll get rid of those. Um, try to get closer to this dude here so that we can get out front of him. Can I get a critical hit off this dude? That would be wonderful. Perfect. This seems like it's the last wave, so not a huge deal there. If we can get rid of the surveyors, that'll be peachy clean all the way through. This guy seems to be stuck, so we'll try to kill him. Perfect. Looks like there's something that's stuck over there. Hopefully we can still find a way to kill him. That's going with the advanced evasive maneuvers. This guy's stuck as well. Perfect. So there's one more dude here. How can we deal with him? Oh, so he's right there. Perfect. Okay, so that wasn't that bad. Um... Did die one time embarrassingly to the uh, jet loaders, but I think everybody can agree that... Oh, that wasn't even a sniper there. Everyone can agree that that wasn't a sniper, but also that uh, dying to the guy with the you know damage over time rocket launcher, that's just kind of bullshit. <laughs> that really sucks. It always happens. Um, not always. It doesn't always happen. Obviously, you can play around it, but it's always annoying when it happens because you're like, well... What was I supposed to do there, you know? I guess kill that guy quicker because it's really the only way to deal with it, but those damage over time launchers at overpower level 8 are basically a death sentence should you catch one of those DOTs. It's, I mean, you have to really have some, like, pre-existing transfusion trails out there or a moxie weapon in order to get by that. And I'm about to have a moxie weapon because um, we're about to turn this quest into innuendo bot. But before I do that, I want to put the game in read-only mode. So I'm going to do that real quick. Uh, I'm going to save out, and then I'm going to put the game in read-only mode. Put the save file in read-only mode, at least. And now we can go to um, Innuendo Bot, check out which kind of rifle we got here. So this is a dandy one. Um, that's going to be a Vladoff grip on it. This is going to be the accuracy. Um accessory or prefix I believe and so that's not really what we want and so since we have it set up so that uh, you know it's in read-only mode the save file we can just go here we can select character and we can go again and we can see that uh, you know the quest is ready to turn in again this time we got a sublime one it's gonna be slag with a blade so that version's actually kind of cool, but it's not the Malawan grip. It's the, uh, I believe that's the doll grip. And so we could do this over and over again. Um, I could show you every single run of this. But you guys know what's happening here. I'm at least giving you a preview of it. I just go to the menu screen, hit refresh on the you know character save there. And we're looking again here. So this is Vladoff grip. Um, again with the bladed accessory, again with the slag element, so, um, <laughs> let's make sure it's not in slag every single time, and then I will just run this until I get what I'm looking for, which is going to be a fire version with, um, you know, a Malawan grip and stuff. So, yeah, here it is in shock. This one's going to be with the critical hit damage prefix. 
um, not a Malawan grip. So instead of showing you guys every single run here, I'll just run it until I get what I'm looking for and then I'll record that from there so that you guys see that I get that. But this way you don't have to watch me save quit over and over and over again. All right, so it looks like we got a slag one here, which I'm pretty stoked about. It's not the fire one that I was looking for, but it is Malawan gripped and Banbury accessory here in slag. It'll, it's also got the scope that I like, so that's pretty cool there. Um, looks like it has a Hyperion stock, makes it look pretty blocky, but this could potentially be a very cool weapon. Obviously, the Cherami was significantly buffed as a part of the community patch, and here it is in slag, so... Pretty cool build here, you know, with the Malawan grip and the slag element, so we will definitely take this weapon and we'll go put it in Claptrap Secret Stash. I'll show you that now. We're going to head out to the Iridium Blight, and unfortunately there's no catch a ride near here. I know that to be true from coming out of this area before, or dealing with Mal before and having my car blown up. It makes it very difficult to uh, get back to the fast travel, so what we're going to do is go looking for a catch a ride and I think there's a catch a ride I thought that there would be one right there but there is one right here for certain is there one over here maybe not there's definitely one down here so we'll go to that catch a ride and then we will drive up that hill there I think it's closer probably quicker to go to the catch a ride down here I'm not entirely certain maybe it would be quicker to just run up the hill I don't know Either way, this is the way we're going for right now. We're going to go down to this catch ride and then we will fast travel to Sanctuary so that we can put this slag rifle into Claptrap's secret stash. That's going to be a piece of memory that is unaffected by uh, our read-only save file and it will allow us to collect multiple of these weapons. So we'll go into this vehicle here and then we will head on up. I guess we should also check for a second Donkey Mong. Ooh, we got a second Donkey Mong. Seems unlikely that he'll drop a, another big thumper. But we can always try. I guess I should switch uh, to a fire rifle, but this shock one should do just fine. Now, in the community patch, I believe that rare bosses like Donkey Mong drop their special item one in every five times instead of one in every ten times. So it wouldn't have been that rare, I guess, about a one in 25 time, or yeah, one in 25 chance to get a second one there. Um, but not that, not that rare. It definitely would have been a rare find to get a second big thumper there, but it's all right. All right, getting out of the vehicle now, we are almost to Sanctuary, and then it will be a very short walk to Claptrap Secret Stash. Maybe not entirely short. We got to go all the way across Sanctuary, I guess. Not all the way across it, but over here to Zed's and then to the right to Claptrap's area, basically. Cool, here's Claptrap's area. There's old Clappy. And here is his secret stash. So we'll go here. We will drop the slag Cherami or dear friend into the secret stash. And then it will be there um, even after we save quit with the read only file. So I'll let you guys know when I find another good rifle. All right. So I'm still having trouble getting a good fire one. But I've got a bladed slag one now with a Malawan grip again. So I'm going to run this one over to Sanctuary, and uh, I'll let you guys know when I find another fire one, or eventually find a fire one at all. But like I said, I'm going to run this one over to Sanctuary the same way as I did before. Um, I don't know if I'm going to find a Donkey Mong again. I guess I'll show it to you here. Hopefully don't die to that barrel D.O.T., I'm going to unequip my grenade mod so that we can get over to the fast travel just a little bit quicker. And with a grenade jump or two. Just anything to save a little bit of time. I've been farming for these rifles now 
I mean, doing it off off screen, but just running that particular save quit, you know, talk to you into a bot, save quit, talk to you into a bot. Oh, it's the right accessory, but it's a doll grip. Oh, the right accessory, but it's a Hyperion grip. You know what I mean? Oh, we got a Malawan grip, but a shitty accessory. So just going to keep looking until we finally find what I'm looking for. Guess we'll have to run over this fella. Perfect. I guess we'll check for Donkey Mong. See if he spawns. Looks like no third Donkey Mong there, but not a huge deal. We've already got at least one big thumper, so that's something. We'll drive on through here and get to Sanctuary. I don't expect to need a bladed one, but it's kind of cool. And because it's Malawan Grip, I guess I'll take it to Sanctuary. Um, put it in the stash. Better than not having it, I guess. It doesn't take too long to run it over here to Sanctuary and get it in the stash. What I really want is a Malawan Gripped Good Accessory Fire one. Um, hopefully it's coming soon. Not very fun to just farm quest rewards over and over and over again, but I think I'll be happy with this weapon once we once we have a couple cool versions of it. Now it looks like we have one fire rate and one bladed slag one. They both have the Malawan grip here, so that's pretty cool. All right, let you know when I get another good one. Looks like I got a pretty solid shock one this time. Malawan grip, Banbury prefix. I'm going to take this one to Sanctuary as well. Um... I guess I pretty much need to show my route to Sanctuary every time, just in case we find another Donkey Mong, because we could potentially get another big thumper. So, off to Sanctuary we go again. Shouldn't be too big a deal. Sanctuary is not too far away. Again, I will take the grenade mod off so that we can grenade jump. Run past that fire there without catching the fire DOT. That was good. All right, so we'll get down to this catcher ride again. Hopefully we find another Donkey Mong, another big thumper. That would be wonderful. Who knows if we can or can't, though. I don't know. I don't even know close to what the uh, best parts on the big thumper would be. I would assume uh, Malawan parts, if it can spawn with Malawan parts. I don't know, though. I didn't play much of the pre-sequel, so I don't have much of an idea about it. Okay. We're in our vehicle. Check for Donkey Mong real quick. Hopefully we can get the fire one after this without too many more runs. I haven't really been counting my runs. They're very, very short, but I feel like I've done way too many of them, you know. It doesn't take too long to spawn in, talk to in, you window bot, check it out, but it does get tiresome. A couple times I've accidentally selected uh, start new game too, and that is tremendously aggravating. <laughs> Marcus is like, so you want to hear another story, huh? And then it takes like fucking forever before you can, uh, you know, exit out of that. So every time I've done that, my dogs have got some extra pets because... You know, <laughs> I was trying to pass some time. All right, we're going to go over the top this time. This is an advanced route to get to Claptrap Secret Sash. It actually saves no time, but it does break up the monotony of it. All right, so we see our two slag ones are still in here. We will throw the shock one in here. And basically, even if I found a really good corrosive one at this point... Um, there's no more room for any others. I have to have this fire one. That's the one I set out looking for. And even though I found a cool sh uh, shock one and two cool slag ones, we're still... Um, huh. So these two have the same scope or same stock. And these two have the same scope. And these two have the same prefix. So some similarities between these, but... Um, yeah, even though I've found all of these cool ones, I do not have the fire one yet. And so even if we found a cool corrosive one or maybe another cool shock one, like in barking or something, we can't really get it or use it or anything like that because I need this fire one. So this last spot 
is reserved for fire. So I will let you know when I find a fire one. All right, so we finally got this fire one here. It must have taken me dozens of runs. I got a couple barking fire ones that were like Jacob's grip, and then there was one that was like Vlad off grip. But this is the first fire one I've gotten that had both a Malawan grip and either Banbury or Barking Prefix. So this will be the last one that we take to Sanctuary here. I'm pretty stoked about this. It obviously took me a significant amount of time just to farm Innuendo Bot, but we did finally get what we were looking for. I could theoretically do the Hyperion Slaughter again in order to get a Corrosive one, but I'm not... I mean, I'm not that keen or dead set on getting a corrosive one. There's not a corrosive raid boss. I guess if there was a corrosive raid boss, that would be the most beneficial. Because I can't really imagine using the corrosive uh, share me or dear friend rifle for any specific mobbing scenarios. So I can imagine potentially using the uh, slag one for mobbing. So I'm glad that I found a slag one. The fire one I definitely foresee myself using against um, Terramorphous, but it could probably also be useful against Hyperius just because we have some open weapon slots against Hyperius and, you know, easy to get health back, I guess. That's always a good thing. It'd be interesting to see if it gets you above health gate without a critical hit, though. Maybe a corrosive one would be good for Hyperius, actually, because you could get health back off of the bots. Oh, well. I'm not going to go farm that uh, quest again just to get a corrosive one. Not right now, anyway. Maybe there's a time where I'll remember that I need it in the future, but not right now. Speaking of remembering, I remembered that there might be a Donkey Mong over here, and there is. Let's see if we can kill him and get another, uh, another cool rifle. Just for kicks, we'll kill him using the... Uh, using the cool rifle. Um, we won't get a cool rifle from Donkey Mong, excuse me, get another cool shield. Alright, see if it doesn't get my uh, health back up. Excellent. Cool. So even though I don't have on a uh, slag grenade, I can keep my health up, which is good. Man, the recoil or like uh, side adjustment that those barrels make you do is huge. I guess that's good though. Makes him a tougher enemy. Alright, so he's dead. We killed him with our new rifle. He didn't drop another thumper for us. What a bastard. He could have. He could have dropped another thumper for us, but he just didn't see fit to. Alright. So, now what I'm going to do is drive to Sanctuary, put this gun in the uh, Claptrap secret stash. I guess, theoretically, I could farm a corrosive one, right? I could farm a corrosive one. Because I could put this in Claptrap secret stash, farm for the corrosive one, right? And then, um, not put the corrosive one in the secret stash, just alt tab out and change my game to non read only mode or save file to non read only mode. Might as well get a corrosive one. I've worked this hard for it. Um, might as well, you know. <laughs> We've come this far. Maybe it'll only take me a little bit more. Otherwise, I'll always think about it, right? Like, ah, uh, I could have had a perfect build out and had one in every element, but now I don't. So. Since I realized that I can get a fifth one, I am going to get a fifth one. I know that that is a little bit on the... Oh, wait. I guess we can't deposit it from our inventory. I know that that is a little bit on the OCD side, but whatever. We'll get it done. Might as well get it done. It, it doesn't take that much longer to get it done. You know, it took me a while to farm for this fire one, but... It's not that hard to quest reward farm. I'll just keep going at it. So now we have four in here. We have two slag ones, a fire one, and a shock one. I'm going to go for one more corrosive one now. So I'll let you know when I get that corrosive one. All right. So I finally got a perfect corrosive one here as well. Um, it is the barking. So that's going to be the base damage accessory instead of the banberry, which I had on the slag and fire and shock, I believe. So this one here also has a Malawan grip, the base damage accessory. I'm pretty happy with it. Now I have a 
deer friend rifle in every element. So what I'm going to do real quick here is make sure I don't pick up that quest. And then I'm going to uh, change the save file from read only to a writable save state again. So I'll do that now by alt tabbing out and editing that file. All right, so now the save file is not set to read only. So when we save quit here, even if we reselect the character, and we'll do that now, even if we reselect the character, it should still have the quest completed for us, and there should still be a corrosive share Amy or dear friend rifle in our inventory. If I can find it, that would be most excellent. There it is. We'll get rid of some of these other rifles and nonsense that I have picked up. Just so our inventory is a little bit clearer, I know I can get rid of the Stalker and the Bearcat. We can also get rid of some of this stuff here that we don't need. Perfect. So we still have our Corrosive Rifle here, which is good. Um, we'll go to Sanctuary now and pull the other rifles out of Claptrap Secret Stash. And then that'll be the conclusion of this video. I know everyone's really wanting that uh, Hide of Terramorphous farm, and the only thing that I think I'm going to farm still prior to the Hide of Terramorphous is a better Longbow Slag Crossfire. So we might farm for that, or I might just farm Terramorphous. Who knows? Either way, we are going to eventually get a, uh, well, we're looking for a perfect Hide of Terramorphous, and I'm pretty stubborn, so I'll probably go until I get that perfect Hide of Terramorphous. Right now, one more time, we are running down here to the Catch-A-Ride station so that we can then head up to Sanctuary and visit Claptrap's secret stash, this time to retrieve instead of deposit. There's a bad guy up here. We will shoot him a couple times. Why not? Cool. Excellent. So now we will head on up here and... You know, that'll be the end of this video. Hopefully we find Donkey Mong one more time. Get a better big thumper. Who knows? Doesn't look like Donkey Mong's going to spawn this time. No biggie. Alright, we're all the way through and we're almost to Sanctuary now. So, as always, guys, I do thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you haven't yet taken the time to subscribe, please do so. I'd appreciate that as well. We're going to head to Sanctuary now, and we're going to pull out those two rifles, and then that'll be the end of this video. I said two rifles. We're actually going to pull out four rifles, excuse me, not two. I was mainly thinking about the slag and fire one here, but obviously there are two slag ones and also a shock one as well, so... We'll pull all four of them out. Why not? We can have them all in our inventory. So there we go. Farmed for these five rifles and also a roid shield. So good stuff. Made a lot of progress in this video as far as adding new items to our inventory. That is pretty sweet. Um, I think that's the bandit grip on this slaga, which is pretty interesting. Uh, regardless, I probably don't need to be carrying that weapon, but I'll keep it in my inventory. I'm going to throw stars on all of these so that I don't accidentally lose them. There should be one more of them somewhere. There we go. Cool. Now I have two bladed slag rifles that I'll probably never use, but they're there in my inventory, so that's good stuff. Um, we'll take a look at that big thumper again as well. neat so it does have quite a high roid damage there excited about this one because it's uh kind of a happy median between the love thumper and the height of terramorphous either way though i still need to farm for both a love thumper and height of terramorphous on this character and we're probably going to be farming for a perfect longbow slack crossfire sometime soon but i promise we will eventually farm for that height of terramorphous it is a goal one more time guys thanks for watching do appreciate it and i do hope to catch you next time Bye, guys.